नमस्कार I'm so I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't hear too many voices. A slightly little better. That would encourage me. Namaskara. Very good. Very good. Okay. So uh, as introduced, okay, I'm Prashant Vitankar. Okay, I take care of uh, the client computing devices portfolio. Okay, within Fujitsu, and uh, uh, responsible for all the CCD product lines. Okay, so. Uh, just a quick question okay just to keep the audience uh, live i know this is a last uh, presentation okay and it is very difficult you know to manage the audience okay at the last uh, uh, stand okay but then uh, please excuse me let me set the expectations also right over here okay how many uh, minutes do you want me to present don't tell me 2 minutes 3 minutes 5 <laughs> minutes it's too difficult sir okay but uh, i'll i'll try to you know uh, set the expectations right quickly without wasting too much time let me take some 20 or maximum 25 minutes okay uh, uh, if it permits okay uh, i'll try to finish it off little earlier so uh, client computing devices okay when i say uh, what are does uh, they include okay uh, any guesses uh, what all do you think that fujitsu uh, sells today as far as the client computing so these are all the uh, desk based solutions or products quickly laptops desktops okay great tablets workstations thin clients scanners then then something which is uh, uh, visible right in front of you you can see it on the screen what is that displays then so these are products okay so we also some sell some solutions also okay along with it so it's not uh, only the product lines okay but also some solutions okay which are focused around uh, these product lines okay so uh, uh, just moving ahead okay uh, uh, i'm sure everybody has heard uh, okay uh, since morning all these okay names which have been mentioned over here am i right am i right okay we all heard okay of of digitalization we have heard of uh, you know these uh, points uh, like your uh, internet of things okay we have heard uh, cloud we have heard uh, okay security aspects okay of uh, the growing need of the data okay and uh, of course the compliance okay uh, in the near future we have talked about uh, the generation y requirements okay the aging population uh, population urbanization okay so what all uh, uh, does these points okay play an important role okay in our uh, workplace devices okay that's pretty uh, you know uh, uh, important to understand over here uh, before i really move ahead okay uh, just a few stats okay which i wanted to just share with you today uh, how many uh, 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 people okay do you think okay are connected to your uh, uh, internet today any any wild guess across the globe any wild guess uh okay right from that corner sorry 6 billion okay can we have a middle okay number in between that so somewhere around 3 billion 3 billion yeah okay which amounts to almost 40% of the world population and uh, and uh, you know uh, by uh, 2020 okay how many people are going to get connected any any imagination 50 billion 50 billion okay so that's the kind of you know uh, Uh, that's the kind of data that's the kind of uh, computing okay that's the kind of you know uh, 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 more and more okay innovative products okay that we need to address these needs okay of of the end users of the organizations today okay so in order to take that ahead okay let us understand what are all those what are those uh, workplace devices okay that uh, are in place but before moving ahead okay i just want to tell you one uh, you know uh, funny thing uh of of all the people okay in this room okay i'm sure nobody would have access to your laptop since morning am i right or or at least uh, uh, 90% of you okay must have not access to your laptops at all right from the morning but how many of you 
okay, have actually answered 90% of your mails. I'm sure all hands will start raising up, right? Okay, that's the power of technology today, okay? And it's growing day by day, okay? The ease, the, the, uh, the you know, the, the, the importance, okay, of, of getting connected, okay, is getting uh, really, you know, hyper day by day. And that's where we see, okay, there are so many devices, okay, which are helping. But at the same time, there is absolutely no need of a place, okay, henceforward. I'm sure, okay, you're all out of your offices today, okay, you're sitting at a third place, okay, which still you are connected. You're connected to the internet, you're connected to your data, you're connected to your applications, right? So applications are independent of any device today. Am I right? Applications are independent of any device, okay, you can access it from any place, anywhere, right? So that's what, okay, says, and if you see, okay, there's a very funny ad over here, okay, in the place, there's no place required, okay? Location is anywhere, right? That's going to be the trend of the future. Mobile working needs. So as I said, okay, unified apps store, right? So there is absolutely no requirement of any device, okay? So you just have to, you know, uh, sitting at any corner of the world, okay, you can have access to your data, okay, and just move ahead. But at the same time, one more important aspect, okay, which is really an important one, okay, is in terms of how to manage the security, how to manage the compliance, okay, within the organizations, okay. Somewhere we have hearing, uh, uh, been hearing about uh, BYOD concept. Has it really picked up in India, okay, to that extent? Do you think? BYOD has picked up that much? Not yet, not yet, okay? But who's responsible for it, okay? We. Why? Because, okay, we are, we are still, you know, at that phase of a change, okay? That risk component, okay, is still there. Okay, and in order to mitigate, okay, that risk component, okay, we have certain devices, okay, which will help you to take, okay, simplify that decisions, okay, and take a, a bold decision, okay, ahead. Hyperconnected world, I'm sure everybody uh, uh, would agree this, right? As I said in my earlier statement, okay, uh, we all are today connected, okay, in this hyperconnected world. So when I say a hyperconnected world, okay, information today, okay, uh, is not only limited, okay, but information is actually transformed, okay, into different means today. Okay, your connections, are actually going one level below your infrastructure. Am I right in saying this statement? Connections are going one level below, okay, your infrastructure. And how is that possible? Any wild guess, quickly. Any wild guess, okay, this is something which you have been hearing, okay, since morning. Sorry? faster access, but there is something, okay, which is, which is really a buzz of the town. What is that? Sorry? Connected devices? You're right, you're absolutely coming very closer. Have you heard of Internet of Things? Huh? Which is picking up a lot, right? So Internet of Things, okay, is something, okay, which is helping people, okay, to get connected, okay, on a faster note. So what is it, okay, what is Internet of Things? Okay, it is nothing but, okay, it is allowing access, okay, to the, uh, to the people, okay, who are continuously on the move. It is going one level above, okay, the infrastructure within the organization or within your, okay, limits, okay? People on the move are tracked. How is that possible? There must be some devices, right, okay? to track those people who are continuously on the move. So Fujitsu has those type of devices also. Specialized devices, okay, which are called as beacons, okay, which go along with these devices, okay, and helps in tracking, okay, those things or objects which are continuously on the move. So Fujitsu recently, okay, in 2015, developed a beacon, okay, which absolutely needs no charging at all. These beacons, okay, earlier used to have okay, a charging device attached to it. And there was a limitation, okay, in terms of the weight and form factors. 
but now absolutely it's a flexible kind of a device okay just measuring some 2.5 millimeters in thickness and 3 grams in weight okay so that's the kind of technological innovation okay we are talking of today okay quickly an example of live example of that is florida hospital today so florida hospital okay we have been you know successful in implementing okay this new biometric technology to id patients okay before a patient gets admitted okay to the hospital a complete data okay the master data of that particular patient okay is ready with the hospital authorities okay and he's been provided okay with the necessary treatment okay which improves or betters the chances okay of the survival of that particular patient if he's in a critical condition also okay so uh, let us understand now okay slightly in, in in deeper details okay what are the mega hypes which are influencing the ways okay of future working what are those points okay which which help okay in terms of you know uh, uh, segregating these product lines we we have divided them into uh, four equal points you know one of course represents the human centric devices human centric workplaces okay the second one is the techno uh, the economical aspect once you have the infrastructure in place okay how do you economize okay those product lines okay cost is something which is which is like uh, a pain point i'm sure everybody would agree right cost is something okay which has been a pain point for every cio within the organization today how do we digitalize okay within those limited cost okay and finally the most important of all is security okay of all this okay nobody today wants to secure uh, wants to really play around okay play around with the data which is the most important element okay within an organization so zero noise devices something okay which uh, fujitsu has a patented technology we have certain devices okay which are kept outside today okay i'm sure most of you must have seen there is a q956 on display okay which is a kind of a meeting room edition kind of a product okay which also is a product okay which produces almost zero noise okay we have a esprimo q956 uh, okay q uh, esprimo p920 okay which which consumes zero watts of power okay when it goes into silent mode okay or hibernation absolutely zero watts of power just imagine okay uh, organizations which have a deployment of more than 1000 units okay one fine day okay an employee out of these 1000 employees there could be a few employees okay who might just leave their offices okay keeping their machines on they might just power off okay the uh, monitors okay the cpu still remains on okay how do you tackle these type of scenarios so we have okay devices okay which absolutely consume zero watts of power okay when it comes to a hibernative state okay or a silent state okay oh, oh, connectivity standardization how many of you have been using uh, uh, fujitsu live books how many of you i see a couple of you know hands being raised over here but if you have come across the live book notebooks okay you might see that most of the live book okay the e series okay the p series which we had earlier the s series all share okay the common form factors okay most of them share the common accessory items okay along with it no hassles okay if you decide to buy a particular product there is no need of of keeping okay accessory items okay you just keep a few of them okay and uh, say for example your meeting room okay no hassles of carrying your okay uh, adapter every time there's a single adapter okay big deployed in your meeting room okay which you can use it simultaneously simultaneously when i say okay you can use it one by one okay and you can charge your laptop we have laptops today okay which gives you a battery time starting from okay uh, 4 to 6 hours and reaching up to 24 hours okay a live book s936 which is kept outside a live book uh, uh, s935 s936 okay goes up to 24 hours okay with the help of a second bay battery along with it 
Okay, so these kind of products, okay, are on offer today. Uh, energy saving environment, again, an important factor. When it comes to Fujitsu, okay, we always, always, okay, uh, put more energy, okay, in terms of less power consumption. Okay, and in order to support this statement, okay, I'll give you a beautiful example of our workstations. I'm sure everybody, okay, knows a workstation, okay, slightly better machine than a desktop. Okay, in terms of usage, okay, it gives you high power, okay, high power when it comes to the processing power, okay, high power when it comes to your graphical usage, right? Am I right? So, these, imagine these workstations, okay, producing the amount of heat, okay, and equally along with your heat, okay, the amount of noise that it, why? Why noise and why heat, okay? How are they connected? Any, any guess? Cooling, right, the fans. The, the rotation of these fans, okay, is directly proportional to the amount of heat which is generated. So in order to tackle this situation, okay, we have something called as a cool safe technology in our servers, okay. We have something called as optimized airflow management, optimized thermal airflow management, okay, within our workstations, which helps, you know, 3D airflow mechanism, okay, in terms of, okay, the air being sucked from the front side, being thrown away from the rear side, and at the same time, okay, also the graphic card is being taken out, the heat dissipated from the graphic card is being taken out separately from the right hand side of your workstation. So this is absolutely, you know, a, a very unique kind of a technology. So there is no need, in fact, of air cool, uh, your uh, liquid cooling process over here. And that's the power, you know, of, of a Fujitsu workstation. And one of the main reason, you know, for people to today shift, okay, from, I'm talking of a very big organization like Tata Motors today. Is anybody from Tata Motors over here? I'm talking of an uh, example of Tata Motors, okay, who shifted just for this particular reason. Why? Because the decibel levels, okay, of this machine, they found far superior as compared to the competition. Okay, there are two big competitors as far as workstation goes. And I'm sure everybody knows, okay, sitting in this room, who are those, those two big competitors? But one of the important reason, okay, and today you will be surprised to know that we have more than 1,000 plus workstations. I'm talking of those higher end workstations, okay, with two processors inside it and a graphic card like your today's M4000 kind of a graphic card. Workstations costing you more than some 12K, okay, USDs per unit. Okay, so this, that's the power, okay, of, of a Fujitsu workstation, okay, over here. Quickly, moving on to the client computing devices. So we have a complete stack, okay, of, of the workstation. We have a complete stack on offering for the live book notebooks. Let's move ahead, okay, what do we have in the virtual client computing? In the virtual client computing, okay, we have a product, okay, which is called as a foot row thin client, okay? A again, a complete stack of offering, okay? It starts from your S520, S720, S920, okay? Products, again, okay, giving you superior quality, okay, superior features, okay? At the same time, uh, quality performance, okay? So, these foot row thin clients, okay, have been, you know, certified today with all major hypervisor vendors, okay? Be it Citrix, be it your Microsoft, okay, or be it VMware, okay? And these are, you know, few of the solutions, okay, which we have on offer, okay, for our clients who opt to go for virtual client computing kind of, okay, in one minute. I talked of, uh, you know, sorry, uh, let me come back uh, to that slide. There's something mentioned as long, long lifespans for the product lines. Uh, this, again, this point, very important one. Uh, uh, I'm sure everybody would agree, okay? It's, it's very difficult to move on from a single product, okay, which is being in use 
for one year, okay, or 1.52 years, and then, okay, shifting over to a new technology altogether. Am I right? It's very difficult, okay, in, 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 an, in an environment, okay, wherein people don't want to, okay, shift from a particular brand or, or from an existing product, okay, to a new product. Why? Because there are so many reasons for it. Application dependability, OS compatibility, okay, and so on. There are so many things, okay, which are associated with it. And finally, the user's choice, right? So for supporting these kind of, you know, uh, requirements, we have products, okay, which have longer lifespans. Lifespans ranging from 12 months, okay, to up to 36 months. We have a product today, okay, which is your W520 Power, which has been on offer, okay, for the past three years in a row. Why? Because there are specific customers of ours, okay, who tell us that, no, I need, I need this product, okay, for a certain lifespan. My project is going on, okay? So, in order to support the statement, okay, I have something called as made for you concept or a customized option. How many of you know, okay, a made for you concept? A made for you concept is, okay, you tell us, okay, your configuration. You tell us your requirement in terms of application. Okay, and we are here, okay, to support you with that. All your application level dependability, your uh, OS level support, okay, uh, your uh, complete end-to-end -end manageability, okay, is being done by us. Okay, so we also do that kind of activities. Ha, huh. finally, uh, there's something, okay, on the security side, okay. Uh, how many of you have seen the live book, uh, uh, the Celsius H760 being displayed outside. Have you seen? Have you seen a unique feature on that uh, Celsius H760 model? Sorry? Uh, no. No, uh, Palm Secure, right. He's right, he's right. He's come to the point. A, 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 a mobile workstation, okay, being offered with the highest level of security which is your palm win authentication. Heard about palm win authentication? It's a Fujitsu patented technology. Again, very unique. Thousand times more secure than your normal fingerprint sensor. Absolutely contactless, okay? So please, okay, rely on that, okay? There is absolutely no threat, okay, in terms of security. So these are, the, these are just a few devices, okay, which we have on offer, along with some of the software elements, okay, which come along with it, like single sign-on, okay, face recognition, and so on. So uh, make your choice, okay, out of, out of these product lines which we have. I'm sure most of them, okay, must have uh, been dis on display today. Okay, few of the devices, okay, which were not on display are the specialized tablet. We have a V535 which is a rugged tablet, okay, used in environments IP65 compliant, okay, a completely rugged tablet, water submersible also. A business tablet, okay, Q555, which is on display outside. Two-in-one devices. Can anybody tell me the name of one product, okay, which is kept outside? Quickly. One product, which is kept outside. There is one tablet, okay, which is kept outside. It's a T936 tablet. There's a R726 specialized, you know, stylistic slate, okay, which is being kept on the right hand side. Notebooks, all in ones. There's also an all in one device. Have you observed that? There's also an all in one device, okay, on the right hand side. Yeah. And your classic devices notebooks, thin clients, PCs, workstations, and the displays. Okay, so we have all these products. Okay, and believe me, a complete stack. Okay, right from your entry level ones to your higher end ones. Quickly moving ahead. So talking specific on the Fujitsu workstations, many uh, less people today know about this fact. So I just wanted to put on one point over here is Fujitsu has been, okay, a veteran in this. We have been in this industry for more than 25 years. Okay, manufacturing workstations workstations which are purely, purely manufactured in Germany, okay? There's no other place, okay, in the world, okay, where we manufacture. Quickly, so 
That was on the product side. Let us quickly, okay, within some five, 10 minutes, understand on the application side, okay? How do we really support, okay? When I say application, end users support services. Okay, so Workplace Anywhere devices. So your Workplace Anywhere devices, okay, helps you to stay remain, okay, or stay connected anytime, anywhere, okay? But at the same time, okay, using, okay, all your classic devices, your virtual devices, your mobile devices, collaborative devices, okay, and hand, it goes hand in hand, okay, with these, you know, application vendors. Okay, like your Citrix, VMware, Microsoft, okay, your hypervisors, okay, then we also have certain applications, okay, which we have a tie up with, Absence, Lakeside, okay, which helps in tracking, analyzing, okay, your existing infrastructure. How do we do that? One of the important element, okay, of end user services is your application management. I'm sure everybody would agree, right? Something which everybody today is dependent on. My application should support, okay, your new hardware. That's my basic criteria, without which I cannot take a decision ahead, right? So how do we really do that, okay? We have our own expertise, okay, in terms of application management. There's a, okay, there's a complete new department, okay, within Fujitsu, uh, which is headed by Rajiv Karkhanis, Okay, and he manages the complete managed services, end-to-end -end managed services, okay, for Fujitsu. We have clients, okay, like RBS today. Anybody from RBS sitting in this room? So Royal Bank of Scotland, okay, we provide complete end-to-end -end services, okay, as far as the managed services is concerned. So we, we, we view the hardware, okay, and the apps installed, okay, on the user's place, okay, we analyze, okay, then we do, okay, the identification, okay, of the distinct application version, okay, test, okay, if the applications can run, okay, with the new operating system. Is there a need, okay? If there is a need, okay, to go in for a new infrastructure, we propose that. Else, how do we utilize the existing infrastructure, okay, to support, okay, the new environment, development and modernization, okay? Whether it requires onshore or offshore delivery options, Okay, application security, again an important aspect, okay? So a security aspect is coming everywhere. Finally, unified app stores, okay? So we provide solutions, okay, right from your mobiles, okay, to your, okay, uh, all the classical devices, okay, which are in offer. One example, okay, of uh, Sharp Electronics Euro. This is just one example, okay, which I took from our global, you know, uh, uh, vendor list. Challenges, okay, not a single standardized process, okay, within the service desk. No uniform level of support provided and more than some 7,000 applications. How did Fujitsu support them? So consistent, you know, uh, end user services, managed mobile and desk services, okay, for all of Sharp's location within Europe. How did they benefit from it? Okay, highest level of standardization. Uniform SLAs, okay, being signed for most of the product lines, okay, that they had and complete end-to-end -end services, okay? Right from your uh, signing, okay, of, of the contract, okay, till your services and the SLA management, okay? What did and how did it help them, okay? By, of course, a flexible pricing model and reduced operating cost. So from 7,000 applications, they reduced themselves to 200 applications. So this is just one of the example, okay, which we have. Okay, and finally, uh, you know, uh, before we move ahead, this is uh, one example, you know, uh, of, of our leadership, okay, in terms of, uh, you know, Fujitsu uh, uh, end user outsourcing services in Europe. So we have uh, this Gartner Magic Quadrant, okay, which has placed us consecutively for the second year, okay, into the leadership quadrant, okay an important thing to be noticed over here. So, my final question to you, what do you want to achieve with us, okay? Do you want to achieve uh, refreshment of your environment? Do you want to achieve, okay, improve your existing user interface, okay, or user experience? Do you want to reduce the cost, okay, of your existing infrastructure? Do you want to plan for disaster recovery management? 
So you want to get peace of mind, okay, through our managed services, okay, we are there, okay, our expertise. We have people, okay, around us, okay, who help in doing that. Finally, unlock the full potential. So Fujitsu provides services and consulting across the full life cycle of the products, okay. We have products and services all from single source, okay. As I mentioned, products which are manufactured in Germany and in Shimane in Japan, okay. There's no other place where we manufacture our products. So we ensure highest level of quality and performance. All are certified for the significant standards, okay. All are certified, you know. We follow all the certifications, okay, which are available, including the BIS certification within India today. Have global coverage for more than 180 countries across the world today. And finally are the fourth largest, okay, IT services provider. Okay, which very few people again know this. Okay, fact. Finally, if you want, okay, a human-centric workplace, okay, Fujitsu is an option, okay, for you. And before I end my, you know, presentation, these are just a few of the, uh, I would say, the segments, okay, within the industry or the verticals within the industry, okay, wherein these products can go. Okay, starting from your financial services. Uh, we, we could not uh, get that machine over here, but uh, you will be surprised, okay, we kept a Fujitsu ATM uh, in our Mumbai uh, world tour, okay, which was live on demo, okay, over there. But because of certain constraints, okay, we could not get it over here, okay, in Bangalore. Okay, so those type of services, okay, and plus there are so many services. Today we have a type of tie up with more than 25 banks in the country today, okay, as far as financial services is concerned. Transportation, aviation is almost, you know, Air India happens to be one of our biggest customers. You have in the retail space, okay, we have our presence, okay, which was evident in all the earlier presentations, okay. I'm sure everybody must have gone through that. Healthcare, I just gave one example to you. Manufacturing automotive, okay, is, you know, our portray. You name it, okay, and we have it. One of the biggest example is Toyota, which is in your own city today, okay. Complete end-to-end -end managed life cycle management, okay, of Toyota. So, these are just a few clients, okay, uh, which are on display, if few of them mentioned over here are there in this room, okay, we thank, okay, them for being, okay, associated with us. This list continues, okay, over here. This is just a partial list, okay, there are many more, okay. Today we have more than some hundred, I would say 400 plus clients, okay, in the, in, uh, in the country today, okay, as far as the CD product goes. Just a few, you know, customer uh, accolades, okay, uh, uh, Z Media, again, uh, uh, was very, f uh, you know, uh, resistant, okay, to move on to a completely new brand, okay, but then they finally made that decision, okay, to go for it, and today they have more than some 30 plus machines, okay, deployed. The first, okay, vendor to deploy a M6000 kind of a NVIDIA graphic card, okay, that to two graphic cards inside a workstation. Again, LNT, okay, uh, Mr. Jay Prakash talking big about, okay, the Fujitsu products, okay, in their reviews. So, uh, with that, uh, I'm sure, okay, I uh, exceeded by time, but uh, I'm so sorry for it. Okay, I always be, uh, you know, that enthusiastic, okay, when it comes to my product line. So, please excuse me for that. Okay, and with that, uh, I, I stop my presentation over here. Any questions? Quickly, half a minute, okay, before we break. I'm sure, okay, I'm coming, okay, in between you and, and, and something else, okay. So, uh, let me not take too much of time. Uh, thank you again for patiently listening to me, okay. I'm available around, okay. So, any, any uh, questions, okay, as far as the product lines or the services are concerned, please do get in touch with me, okay. Thank you so much.